Okay, um, so now we are in a unique position in that um, if you're looking at the schedule here, the next speaker wasn't able to make it to the session, and then we're jumping to the last speaker who also had visa issues, and so as a polite favor to him, Bruno is going to present uh, Yang, Dr. Yang Yang's slides, knowing nothing about it, so don't ask Bruno any questions. Um, but if you're interested in the information, here's a shot, take a picture and remember it. Thank you, Ben. Uh, yeah, actually, Joe, we'll just go quickly through the slides. Uh, I just got them uh, uh, yesterday evening, and, uh, and I thought it would be interesting to show you what the guy, uh, the, the, this person, Mr. Uh, Professor Yang Yang, uh, uh, has been doing. So he's simulating the uh, bridge, con uh, the torsional and flexural effect in bridges, in, col in bridge columns. So uh, we'll just go quickly. So what is the, the, the presentation focuses on the, when you have a bridge and f subjected to seismic loading, uh, so the, the, the columns may be sub subjected in some cases to bending and, and torsion. So, and um, so the point is that uh, if you do, uh, a modeling with uh, uh, beam elements or, or the, like SAP or something like this, SAP 2000 or whatever, uh, you, you, even if you have a, for example, a, a nonlinear model, you won't be able to model correctly the uh, torsional effect and this, uh, or torsional strength of this, uh, of these, uh, with uh, these type of elements. So, so then, what can you do? You can also do a, a quite a complex uh, nonlinear finite element modeling, um, which is showing here, but it's time consuming. It can be done for assessment, but for in a day-to-day -day de design, it might not be uh, the most uh, optimum solution. So what the, the author is proposing is to use a nonlinear truss model. So it's a truss model um, in which uh, the uh, Behavior, the nonlinear behavior of concrete structure will be, uh, concrete column will be modeled. So it's, uh, I'm not saying it's good or not, I'm not, uh, uh, but I found the, uh, the idea interesting. So, so it's proposing a way to model uh, a solid concrete structure using truss element and to uh, obtain the same type of uh, behavior in terms of uh, modeling. And yes, the, we have here the nonlinear model of uh, concrete on the left-hand side, and uh, I guess the steel at some point, reinforced steel is there. So everything is uh, uh, hopefully correctly modeled. So, and it's been validated on a test. I'm not sure if it was, if in that test it's, uh, it's talking about if a torsion was induced in the test or just bending, but uh, the, uh, the method is, uh, uh, as he proposed, uh, was calibrated or uh, validated with uh, testing. And uh, we see here some, uh, uh, there's torsional behavior. So torsional and flexural behavior of this column. And it is applied in uh, the case study of a bridge with uh, as, a, as a curved plane, a bridge and plane uh, with uh, some four circular columns. And uh, it's showing this type of results. So it's nonlinear, not just nonlinear in terms of, uh, uh, it's nonlinear in terms of uh, material behavior and including torsion. So, so um, it was a quick overview, but I thought because I actually uh, I'm just taking this uh, as a closing remark, but Ben will have some. But this uh, uh, now we're in the re if there are some others here, uh, we're in the review process of the papers. Some papers, uh, uh, most papers have been received. Uh, they will be reviewed, and hopefully, uh, if everything goes as planned, uh, we will have an SP. Uh, publication. So that paper, uh, if this idea may be of help for you or of interest, though this paper will be published at some point. It's why I presented that in this uh, today. And if you need more information, if it's uh, you want to know right now about this method, then you can um, contact the author of this paper. Any concluding remark you would like to do? Maybe? Yeah,